Today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 Facebook ad strategies that you can use to grow your business in 2021 and these are the exact Facebook ad strategies that I've used to generate thousands of revenue for my businesses over the last couple of years. This is Elliot with InVideo and let's get straight into it. Facebook ad strategy number one is to make sure that you pick the right campaign objective. If you're just starting out with Facebook ads, it is probably best to start with a video views or a traffic campaign so that you can just build up some data. And the reason that you start with a traffic or video views campaign is because it's a lot cheaper than running a conversion ads campaign right from the beginning. So that way you can build up some data, you can build up some traffic and awareness of your brand, and then you can use that data to go and run retargeting ads for your conversion campaign. Campaigns. So this is a really cost effective way to go and build up some data and not burn through your budget just by picking a conversion objective from the beginning. Facebook ad strategy number two is that you don't need a super laser targeted audience. You want an audience that's at least 250,000 and if not even bigger into the millions. When you have a super laser targeted audience around 10,000 or 20,000, Facebook actually finds it difficult to go and put your ad in front of the right audience. So start off with a more broad audience and then let Facebook do the hard work and find the right customers for your business. Facebook ad strategy number three is to start your campaigns with campaign budget optimization. Now what campaign budget optimization is, it basically goes and allocates your budget automatically. So Facebook will have a look at which one of your ads is performing the best and it will go and push more of your budget towards those ads. That way you have to do less work. You don't have to constantly monitor the ads because Facebook goes and has a look at which ads are performing well and it goes and pushes your budget towards those ads. If you're a small business, this makes the budget allocation a lot more automated and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. It's super easy to turn campaign budget optimization on. All you have to do is just scroll to the bottom of the campaign and just go and turn on the campaign budget optimization button. Before we move on, we're super keen to get your feedback on our videos and we're giving away an unlimited subscription to InVideo worth over $360 to one of our lucky subscribers who comments the best takeaway from the video down below. So make sure to comment down below what your best takeaway is from the video to be within a chance to win that unlimited limited subscription worth over $360 to InVideo. Facebook ad strategy number four is that I recommend starting out with auto placements for your first campaigns for your business. And the reason that I recommend to do this is because then you can go and see where your ads perform the best. It's better to start off with the broad options and then you can go and hone in your campaign afterwards once you go and have a look at which ads are performing the best. You can always then go and switch to manual placements. So for example, maybe your ads aren't working as well on the audience network work so then you can just go and turn these placements off but like I said if you start out with the auto placements you can see how your ads perform in different areas on Facebook and then you can go and hone in your strategy afterwards. Facebook ad strategy number five is to use dynamic ad creatives and what dynamic ad creatives allows you to do is go and add multiple different creatives and multiple different types of copy and then Facebook will go and mix and match those creatives and that copy and show them to different audiences and different potential customers. And this way you can go and test out multiple different creatives and multiple different types of copy for your ads. It's really simple to go and set up dynamic creatives within your ad set. All you need to do is just go and turn on this button that says dynamic creative and then just click on continue. Then you just need to go and hit next to go into the ad setup itself. And then once you are in the ad setup, you will see ad creative over here. So then you can go and select up to 10 different images or videos for your creatives. So if we just go to select images, you can go and select multiple different images and then hit continue. And then if we just go to select videos, we can go and select a few different videos as well. So once you have selected your 10 different creatives, you can then go and add five different types of copy. So you just need to go and add in your primary text. And once you have added that in, then you can go and hit add option up to five different times and test out five different types of copy. So I recommend to use the full amount of 10 different creatives and five different types of copy. And then over here, all you need to do is click on view more variations, and then you can go and have a look at the mix and match and how those different variations will look. Then Facebook will go and show these to your audiences in different combinations, and you can see which one performs the best. Using dynamic creatives is a really great way to test different types of copy and different ad creatives. And that way you're going to see which one performs the best. And then you can go and try and scale the ones that are performing well. Facebook ad strategy number six 
is to use short and catchy ads. Right now we live in a world where people's attention is constantly being grabbed from different directions. So if you don't capture your customer's attention right away, they're just gonna scroll straight past your ad. So I recommend don't making your ad any longer than 45 seconds, but really the sweet spot is between 15 and 30 seconds. And make sure that you're adding captions to your ads as well, so you're constantly capturing the audience's attention. You don't want the scenes for your ads to be any longer than four to five seconds. So just bear this in mind when you are creating your ad creatives. Facebook ad strategy number seven is to create for mobile first. A staggering 98% of all Facebook users access from their mobile. So if you're not creating for mobile first, you're just getting it all wrong. An easy way to do this is to create your videos using the one by one aspect ratio. And this is perfect for mobile. If you are enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below your biggest takeaway from the video because we're giving one of our lucky subscribers a free unlimited subscription worth over $360 to in video from the comments down below with the best takeaway from the video. For Facebook ad strategy number eight, let's go and have a look at some ads that are performing really well. Firstly, we have an offer ad. So you can see this offer ad over here from the Protein Works, And this is a really simple ad to go and create. All they have is some text and it's just flashing and that just captures the customer's attention. So these offer ads are working really well at the moment. So go and think about how you can go and bundle your products together and create an offer ad that you can run on Facebook. As you can see, the ad is really short, so it doesn't need to be anything extravagant. You just need to go and create an offer for your product or service and then you can run ads to this offer. Next up, we have testimonial ads and these types of ads work really well. So you can see this ad here from FitTrack and you can see this is just a woman that has purchased FitTrack and she's just giving a testimonial of the product itself. It's a really short, snappy testimonial, so that's all you need to go and create. But this just allows you to introduce your product or service in a really natural, organic, and trustworthy way to your potential customers. So you can go and send out your product or give your service for free to an influencer. Let them go and create this testimonial ad and then you can use that as your ad creative. Next up, we have text-based benefit intensive ads. Once again, these are really simple to create. So we have this ad over here from Luma's Gallery and they are just outlining the benefits constantly throughout their ad. So you can just go and do this, take some cool pictures of your products or showing your service and then you can just go and lay out some captions over these and these caption based benefit ads work really well. The final type of ad that's working really well at the moment is an ad where you just go and address your audience directly. So it's like you're having a normal conversation with them. So you can see this ad over here from Be Human Agency, and he's just talking to clothing brand owners and telling them how he can scale their business using his agency's services. So this is a really great way to build trust with potential customers and you just go and introduce yourself to them in a very natural and organic way. These ads are super easy to film. You just have to go and film yourself talking to the camera and addressing your potential customers problems and how you can go and solve those problems. I'll leave some links in the description below to some templates that you can use so you can go and create all of these types of ads for your brand using these templates and it's really easy to go and edit all of these templates. You can edit the text, you can edit the captions, the colors, you can go and add your own footage using the InVideo stock footage library and you can go and change the music. You can even go and add your logos to these templates. So like I said I'll leave a link in the description. All you need to do is just go and sign up for a free in video accounts and you can start editing these templates for your brand. If you're interested in finding out about how you can use thousands of free templates, then check out our other video on how you can do this. Facebook ad strategy number eight is to use brand partnerships. And this is a super exciting method where you actually go and partner up with an influencer and you go and run ads from their account. And once again, this is a really great way to go and introduce your product in a natural way and just build trust. So instead of just running ads from your account, you go and send the product to an influencer, let them actually go and use the product, and then you run the ads directly from their account. This just helps to build brand awareness and social proof for your products or your service. Facebook ad strategy number 10 is to make sure that you're tracking the right metrics. So don't worry too much about vanity metrics like impressions and reach and click through rate. The main metrics that you want to keep an eye on are the metrics that you can use for retargeting. So this would be video views, some traffic that's coming over to a particular landing page, add to carts, initiate checkouts, and all of the types of data that you can use to go and create custom audiences. These are the type of data metrics that you want to keep an eye on. But ultimately, the main data metric 
that you want to go and keep an eye on is your cost per conversion because this is going to tell you whether your ads are running at a profit or not so make sure you're constantly looking at your cost per conversion because if it's too high then you need to go and kill those ads or you need to go and change something about those ads so like i said make sure that you're always constantly keeping an eye on your cost per conversion because that is ultimately what will tell you whether your ads are performing well or not let's finish off with five facebook ad mistakes to avoid in 2021 facebook ad mistake number one is not familiarizing yourself with the ios 14 update because this is going to affect a lot of facebook ad campaigns the facebook business help center has a whole page on the ios 14 update and all of the different changes that you need to be aware of and everything that you need to implement to make sure it doesn't impact your campaigns. So I'll leave a link in the description to this page and you need to just make sure that you go and read this back to front so that you are prepared for the iOS 14 update. Facebook ad mistake number two is just generally creating boring content. As I've mentioned throughout the video, you need to make sure you're constantly capturing your customer's attention. So go and create something compelling, go and create something that you would personally be interested in for your own product or service and if it captures your attention then more than likely it will capture your audience's attention as well mistake number three is not testing enough if you're only just testing out one creative and one version of copy then you're most likely not going to find out which ads are going to perform best for your business so you need to be testing five to ten different creatives five different types of copy but the more ads you test eventually you will be able to find which ads perform best for your business facebook ad mistake number four is not researching your target audience so i recommend that you create a buyer persona so you know exactly who your ideal customer is and then that way you'll be able to better target them using the facebook interests the facebook behaviors and the different demographics such as the location the age and the gender make sure you've done a fair amount of research before running your ads otherwise you can waste your budget very quickly and facebook ad mistake number five is not testing out your landing page. If you're getting a lot of clicks and you're getting a lot of add to carts and initiate checkouts, but not a lot of purchases and that final conversion, then it more than likely it's something to do with your landing page. So always keep an eye on your landing page. You can go and use heat maps to see where people are clicking and where people are dropping off. And this way you can always go and test out different things on your landing page as well. Because ultimately it doesn't always come down to the ad itself it can come down to your actual website as well if you're new to facebook ads and you want to learn the rules of the game make sure to check out our full facebook ads tutorial for beginners and also check out our other video on facebook retargeting ads make sure to subscribe to the channel for more video creation content make sure to comment down below your best takeaway from the video to be within a chance to win that unlimited subscription to in video worth over 360 dollars and Đăng ký dùng thử miễn phí phần mềm tạo video tại trang web invideo.mysai.